All right, welcome everybody. A gloomy afternoon, but uh, this is the first meeting of the Board of Trustees in March. Um, we'll call the meeting to order. Three trustees in service. Uh, fiscal officer. Fire chief's not available this evening. Uh, road executives here. And uh, the general's <laughs> office. Uh, uh, yeah. Shuffling his papers. <laughs> Uh, therefore, I would now entertain a motion, <coughs> excuse me, to adopt the minutes of February 17, 2020. I would make that motion. <coughs> I will second it. <coughs> There's a movement and a second. Um, any further discussion? Yes. At the very end of the first page, there's a, <laughs> uh, I'll show you afterwards or something, but there's supposed to be coffee on it, or yeah, something. I don't know. There's a there's a word that's missing or needs to be trans. Okay. Did you, did you kind of mark it? No, I I marked the area, but I didn't okay. go back and right. do it. Well, so anyway, we'll fix that. All right, we'll fix that. Yeah. Uh, any other first? Any other discussion? Hearing none, may we vote, please. Mr. Crockett. Yes. Mr. Hollister. Yes. Mr. Mutcher. Yes. Now we entertain a motion to adopt the minutes of the special meeting of the twenty seventh. So move. Motion, and is there a second? I have a second. Second, any further discussion regarding that special meeting minutes? Hearing none, may we vote please. Mr. Mutcher? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Mr. Crockett? Yes. Thank you. Now I obtain a motion to approve payment of the bills of uh, in the amount of $257,195.55, generated uh, from the general fund, $3,706 and a penny. Fire fund, $16,592.08. Uh, not the cemetery, $4,403.99. EMS billing, $7,917.60. Road bridge, $3,170.25. And capital projects, $221,405.62. Any further discussion, or excuse me, is there a motion to approve those? I would make that motion. I second it. And there's a second. Any further discussion? Regarding just, this account, just to exclaim on the two hundred and twenty-one thousand dollars in the capital project, things are still rolling. Mm -hmm. We're far from five million now. And that was, uh, yeah. and, and that was January. We uh, February, February probably say, you know the same or more. On, yeah, yeah. On Thursday, this coming Thursday, and did you see that? Wait, wait, is that this Thursday? Uh huh. Yeah, but, oh, I've got to read that. We're supposed to, I'm supposed to have something ready to go beforehand or something, but... Well, that would be for your miscellaneous stuff. I don't think you're oh, okay. sitting okay. around, do you? I don't know what he's no, talking about. No, but, uh, okay, well, we'll, well I'll reread that, that email. Because, yeah, I don't have anything from the, the new contract or something. No, not the, con not the contract. It's the little, little it's stuff. It's my stuff? Yeah, I don't have anything right now. Okay. I have nothing else. Okay. Um, Mark? No. Hearing nothing else, may we vote, please? Mr. Mutcher. Yes. Mr. Crockett. Yes. Mr. Hollister. <laughs> yes. Uh, thank you. Correspondence this period, uh, Legal Women Voters Newsletter, uh, Township Zone Commission um, minutes from January 21st, uh -huh. Little Miami Conservancy request. Little Miami Conservancy request. <laughs> Something about your bills, though. Um, Huh. For LMC Clean Ohio grant resolution support. But they didn't include a resolution. I didn't see one. That's yeah, what... I, I don't know if we're supposed to make one up or. I don't know. And we can ask. Well, we did one last year, so maybe we'll just do the same one. Uh, Green County Public Health, March 5th, meeting minutes and materials. Emails regarding the new uh, YS uh, CDC members, uh, Master Trails Oversight Committee. Uh, 3 6 meeting agenda. What are we meeting at 3 6? We just met like two days ago. Request to um, attend March 16th meeting from Christian McGaugh. This uh, March 16th hour, March 16th meeting. Notice for election from the Green County uh, Board of Elections. Uh, that's how <coughs> the, the uh, proclamation of election, or whatever that's called, is out on the bulletin board. They asked us to put that out there. Uh, the anthem renewal request from Steve Ackley. Um, we want to know if we wanted to, uh, anthem is going to potentially in, increase <coughs> bless you, next year approximately 10,000 or 10,000, 10%. 10%. 
he wanted to know if uh, if we wanted to redo all of the personal data and have him put it back out for bid. But if you recall the last time he was here that we agreed on the, the anthem, um, it was substantially less than the nearest quote. So I said just let, let that right. go for this year. I hope you agree. I, mean, I don't have any disagreement. Okay. Uh, registration of local government officials conference. Um, quote for the mower. We'll take that up in, in road or in cemetery. MERPC March uh, 5th Board of Director Board of Direction Board of Directors Meeting Agenda. Green County Township Association <laughs> meeting announcement. That would be uh, next Tuesday the 10th at the uh, Clifton. That would be in Miami Town, good old Miami Township at the Clifton Reserve. Uh, hosted by the Green County <coughs> Sanitary Engineering Department. Uh, that should be a rousing, uh, a rousing meeting. Carol, you are very welcome to attend. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> partial pay estimate and for foreign processing procedure. That was a thing from uh, Ashley. Mm -hmm. We were talking about <clears throat> emails regarding the solar farms, um, which I have no further information about, but I hope to get some here <clears throat> sometime soon. Um, Green County MTP kickoff meeting minutes. Well, it's got to be MTP, what's that? That's got to be... I don't know. I don't remember seeing that water. It's there. We'll have to read that. I'll grab the Fund status. Huh? Something transportation plan? MTP. Fund status for March 2nd, 2020. Further correspondence? Hearing none. We'll wait just a second. Find out. Hopefully, what that is. This is the one time that I didn't bring the correspondence out with me. And that? <laughs> I didn't know what it You're was. You're reading right on the list there. Yeah. Do you need to be talk among yourselves? Smoke a few gum. <laughs> Not you. <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't identify it as MTP. I know, I looked at it like, what is that? I don't know. I guess it's. Yeah. Maybe, maybe you'll have a clue by who it's from. Tool design. Okay. Tool design. This was the. <laughs> yes. This was the uh, Master Trails and Parks. Yeah. Oh, it has to do with the Master Trails Oversight Committee. Yes. Now, question Master Trails and Parks. Yeah. And The kickoff. Yeah, it was. We kicked it off. Mm -hmm. All right. So that takes care of that. Yeah. Any Mystery solved. Yeah. Any further correspondence? Going down the fire department. As I say, the chief is not here, but we have a little memo from him. It reads, uh, I'll be attending the Ohio Fire Seat. Chiefs Association Board of Directors meeting this evening in Columbus, therefore will not be able to attend. I have reviewed the proposed 2020 budget appropriations for the fire department and have no issues with it. We have received two applications from our volunteer open house. Both were interviewed that night and are currently going through background checks. Hope to have them back to you by next meeting for appointment. Yours truly. Okay. Moving to the new firehouse report. New firehouse is plugging right along, kind of. It's been slowed down somewhat here in the last week ish or so. The weather has not been real favorable. They have been able to do uh, some interior work. The uh, electrical contractor has worked along steady, steadily, uh, putting up uh, uh, boxes and running conduit and big pipes and little pipes. and and hooking up some giant switch that looks like a refrigerator. I think that's the only thing. I'll click when it goes from one side to the other. That's all I can say. Uh, the slab did not get poured last week as uh, projected. The slab in the center section for the, for the bunkhouse, uh, the fitness room, and the, uh, all those other associated little rooms. Um, hopefully, 
they're going to be able to pour it uh, this week. Whether or the weather's going to be warm enough, whether it's going to be dry enough is another question. Uh, but it will be warm enough. Um, uh, what else we got? Uh, the lentils uh, across the front, the Zinni Avenue side overhead door openings are here and they're in place. They're not actually on the on the, uh, the, the block yet, but they're ready to go. Um, the back side block is not so not up so quite so high yet, but that's uh, next on the list. So, um, what are the lentils? The, the part that goes beans. over the door to support the rest of the building above the doorway. Oh, sounds important. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Pretty important. Yeah, Reinforced concrete beam. Mm. I haven't seen it, but the cast stone that we went back and forth about a few times uh, should be on site now. It was scheduled to be delivered last Friday. Um, I saw a big truck coming, but I don't know if that there. was the lintels or the stone. I don't know if it was smaller skids. So oh, well, I think it would be the stone. Yeah, well, yeah, it would be because the lintels are, eight, are 16 feet. No, it was the stone. It was yeah. several skids. Yeah. And they will start uh, installing that as soon as they get all the block up because they want to see how it looks. <laughs> and uh, and the, the brick will also come in about a, a month earlier than, than projected. It should be here mid-March. Mid uh, probably won't be able to start putting it up, although maybe in a couple of places that they have to put the brick in order to fit the roof panels. Uh, down on those. So um, the low parapet wall, I guess that's the one where the office roof is next to it, uh, is the one they have to do first uh, with the brick. And, and I think so they can attach the roof panels up to it because they wouldn't be attaching the roof panels to the block. So that's what's going on. Any questions about it? Construction to speak of? No, except that it's not. Mm -hmm. Come on. Alrighty then. Uh, we'll move to the um, Cemetery Road. So, Sexton, open it up? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, we had two burials in the force. Thanks all that to me. Mm -hmm. We're going to have one Thursday in Clifton Cemetery. Mm -hmm. This Bill Bennington. Yeah, I was going to say. Oh, really? Yeah, she passed me Saturday. That's probably your Saturday. Frank told me Saturday about it. It'll be Thursday. Mm -hmm. well, I think that's about all I have to say. Did we get the paint on? No, I think it's good. We did. Yeah. So I thought. It's going to get some dry weather. I'm going to have to pop off some of the days. Yeah. Okay. Um, so she was 103. 103. Didn't she work at the um, the variety store back in the day? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She was a nice lady. She was very nice. Mm -hmm. I noticed you submitted your bill to the Clifton Cemetery Board for um, maintenance in 2019. Um, I sent a copy to um, Green Township. Oh, they'll, they'll get it sometime in June or July. Well, I, <laughs> I sent it yesterday, so. Um, fairly typical, as I, from memory, be not that much off of. Mm -hmm. I had one more, one extra mowing last year than usual. You know, these, right, right these are the accurate hours, although last year we didn't charge them anything for trimming, leveling, sweeping, general maintenance, but we didn't do much. We didn't do no, much. No, we didn't do much extra. No. A little bit of road work was part of that. Was, was no gravel for anything. Mm -hmm. No trees coming down or anything? No, but there will be. I've got two over there, half the dead on my brain. They're small, but you should take off. Yeah. Um, so we have a quote for a new piece of equipment that you've decided that you need. Mm -hmm. that you really, really need. Well, I'm going to have to make the other one last. Another year or two. Uh, now, does, does this come with the enclosure and the air conditioner no. too? No. No. And I'm sorry. 
Yeah. Have, you have to work, you have to ride out in the heat. How much is it? When they come in? Uh, Eighteen thousand. That's what I figured. Okay. Is that with our trading? You know, I think so. Eighteen nine, eighteen nine, eighteen twenty eight. Fifteen dollars. Includes the comfort adjust suspension seat with armrests oh, and the yeah. hydraulic weight transfer kit, which sounds like a problem waiting to break or yeah, like something waiting to break. Compared to ambulances, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, the I guess instead of transfer kit, you know. what, didn't she explain it to you? I thought it said on the email she explained it to you that you don't move weights back and forth anymore. You push a button and. It, Pumps hydraulic fluid. Yeah, she didn't. It's, it's in the email. Okay. Because I asked for weights for the wheels. Mm -hmm. They don't do that anymore. Okay, so she didn't say that. Okay, well, this is what they do. Okay. How long have we had the one we've been using? 2001, I think. 2001, 2000. So 19 it's years. 19 years, yeah. Still a good machine. That's a long time. They take care of it in their lives. We've had a little, you know, some work done to it over the years, but it's well, it was just supposed to be just a basic, I didn't need anything fancy. Mm -hmm. Try to keep the number down if that's okay. Is that the email right there? No, it's no. in the it's in the oh. um, Is that a number you had in mind? I think we talked about it. Like yeah, I thought it was that almost ex exactly yeah. that number myself. Well, I would support purchasing it. Okay, thank you. Uh, Is there other due diligence? Let's, yeah. yeah, let's talk just a second. You, I was a little surprised when you said you wanted to keep the old one so you could put the Broom attachment on it. I can't, no, I can't run the broom on, on the new one. Yeah, the 1145, the oldest, the right. 94, that's the only thing that the broom will run because it's got the secondary hydraulic. And it will, it will fit on these in later. The, the, the mounting system is wider with two to go in. It won't fit on like the one we're going to get rid of. The old motor, that motor center there, the broom won't fit that. It fits the 1145. The big Which one. is older still. The 1145 is the oldest. <coughs> Which one are we replacing? The 1435. The 1435? Yes. And the replacement, the one we're replacing, is the one that uses a broom. We no. can use the broom. No. And why aren't we trading this one in? We can't, if that's what you want to do. Why did you want to keep it? I thought you said so we... To mow with, the, the deck on the 1145 is old, it's getting wore out. You know, it's like a thousand bucks to fix a gearbox or something. I don't want to pay more money on it. But I like to keep the brew. Mm -hmm. you know, I can use the 1145, keep, keep using it until it finally breaks. But eventually the deck's going to go bad. But it's the only mower, the oldest mower, that will run that brew. So I think it'll fit in. He wants all of them. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, we use the broom. You know, yeah. We do use the broom, but I can't use it on this new motor. It won't fit. And so I just thought to kind of retire it from mowing and strictly use it as the broom mm -hmm. and keep this other one, which is still a decent mower, to do the cemetery and the mill, the pit, and we mow it. We don't circle. Not cemetery, we don't circle. Oh, no, I don't know if you're in the natural. I'm, I'm a little confused in which is why are we talking about the third mower? I mean, why is that in the conversation? I thought we were, we were only talking about this mower and the one it's replacing. That The one that we're replacing with that, mm -hmm. I would keep and use as a mower. Got Not as a broom. Can't use it as, can't, the broom will fit, won't work more. <laughs> why did you even bring up the other mower and its broom? That wasn't even a part yeah, of the conversation. That's, well, that's kind of why I'm trying to say I'd like to keep it. That's part of my explanation. 
We have two motors. We have 1145. Yeah. With a six foot deck. Yeah. And brew. <laughs> None of that works on that or the one we're replacing. <laughs> I know, but we're not talking about replacing the 1145. Okay. <laughs> That's not part of the okay. conversation. Okay, well, let's just trade that one in. <laughs> uh, okay, let's just trade it in. Okay. Because I don't think it's worth the hassle of just keeping it around and waiting for it to die, and then it's not worth anything once it dies. At least we have fifteen hundred dollars for it, you know. Okay. Now, yes, no, maybe. Mm -hmm. well, do you do you want to make a threshold for the, the trade in? If you if you get less than a certain amount, it's worth. Well, they give us fifteen hundred. Well, they already said that's all they'll give us. I think it's worth more than that. But, you know. Which one are they talking about? The cemetery motor that we're replacing, they, they, they take it as trade in for 1500 Just 1500 off our bill. I take the trade in. Okay. Let's see. You did move, correct? No, I, I didn't move. Oh. I said, I will now move that we okay. buy this uh, and make a trade in. Okay. Now, is there, mm -hmm. oh, wait a minute, is there a second? And second. And I will second. It. Okay. Yeah. Is there further discussion? Yeah. Okay. What you got? Are we talking about this mower that, that is a trade-in, but not the old mower? No, we'll keep the old mower. Okay. We'll trade this. You're trading the second oldest mower. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. That's where the, the came about the oldest mower. Okay. I got it. Okay. Any further discussion? Hearing none, may we vote, please? Mr. Crockett? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Mr. Mitchell? Yes. Um, one last thing for the cemetery before we go to the road. Sometime in the uh, in this year anyway, I would like you to either hire Enoch to um, th think about the natural cemetery and we're going back to the oak grove. You want to make it open? Yeah, I want to make it open. And then I want, I want to clean up the, the edges. I don't want those pines gone yet. You know, the ones on the back? All of those eventually will go. On the very back? We're not back to that yet, though. You're talking about farther back? Mm -hmm. we, we, half of those are ours, I believe. Right. We, uh, we still have that little section where the sheep are, and then there's the little pine tree. Mm -hmm. I haven't worked that area. Right. No, I'm just saying, at some point, maybe 100 years from now, those are going to have to go sure. because trees are going to go in there. But we, we don't take them out today, is what I'm saying. If we can get the, the part in front of those cleared out so we can start laying things out and you know that sort of stuff. Now, is this a spot I've already kind of started clearing that you're talking about, yeah. or is it the area behind that yet? No, not the area behind that. Okay. But got, if there's, got, I'm going, there's only five trees standing out in there mm -hmm. that I haven't taken out. There's more. Mm -hmm. And then some on the south side along that tree line, I thought, boom, I'll just clean that back. If that's what you want Enoch to do, then I'll have them. Well, yeah, if they're too big for you to do, or not okay. in your schedule, then okay. have him do it. But in one way, shape, or form, I want that rectangular cleaned up okay. so we can start, you know, eventually grading it out, surveying it, putting uh, access, or what, however we want to do it. Will you want to take a walk back there sometime? And yeah. You, okay. Good sure. Idea. Good. You were saying, or you want to say something? Uh, it's actually a different thing. No. We saw an ad in the Yellow Springs News. Uh, from a uh, funeral home claiming to be the only certified green burial. Uh, Come right, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, now that's a provider of services, not a cemetery. Right. But remind me what we are certified as. We are that same certification Comp or same certification, whatever it's called, the Conroy is referring to is also the same one that we are certified with as a certified natural burial cemetery. 
and at the time, and I'm not sure uh, what they're doing now, but at the time there was a relatively long list of things that you had to uh, go through or provide to them, um, design and, you know, obviously the whole non-pesticides and all the rest of that sort of thing. Um, and we have a whole lot, big file on it uh, to get our certification, which we did in 2013, I think. And so they must have gone through the same thing as a provider. That answers my question. We got a huge within this past year. Um, Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, everybody, Jackson, why don't we deal with anybody? I mean, it's a yeah. circle of other ones that do yeah. the naturals. Yeah. You know, uh, I think, I mean, it's really meant just to, you know, give confidence to the consumer that their loved one is going to be handled in the way that they, you know, that they expect them to be for a natural burial. We hope. So far, so good, right? Right. Okay. All right, anything else for a cemetery? Let's move to road. Yeah. Okay. I had no weather issues last week, took care of me. All right. The plow and the salt, but took care of me. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm kind of working on the equipment and starting the service. Mm -hmm. She started now, we did like. In the month, I'm going to wait, go to Napa when the filter sale comes on next week. The filters, mm -hmm. save money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good time to do that if it's not snowing. Yeah, good time of year to do it. In other words, in the motor conversation, go on. Mm -hmm. Anything for uh, yeah? Uh, maybe just a little public information. Uh, I'm right that you decide to go out. Most of the time, you decide to go out to salt or uh, plow. It's triggered by the county. They call dispatch uh, calls. Dispatcher calling. Always, right? No, oh, well, they usually call, but a lot of times we're already out when they call them. Or change the plan judgment, actually. But they, as a rule, simple dispatch calls is to say, hey, we're calling up group. Which most of the time we're already out. I watch the road. Yeah. So we, we benefit from. They don't from these calls. Yeah. Sometimes they call us and we don't have anything. You know, Southern. Southern part of the county does, but we don't. But they call everybody. Right. <clears throat> Thank you. To take care of business. Shall we go to the fiscal officer for the evening? Okay. Well, so there's two resolutions. Mm -hmm. One was still amending temporary appropriations so I could pay the bills. <laughs> before we'd actually adopt a permanent appropriation. So there's a bunch of little, you know, doodads here. But I'll have you, I'm happy to read it to you. Okay. Thank you. Just close your eyes and turn away. It's resolution 2020-11. Whereas it is an ongoing process to accurately appropriate funds according to the needs of the township, now therefore the trustees authorizing amendments to the following temporary appropriations. Increased medical and hospitalization in the general fund by $101. Um, travel and meeting expenses um, by $65 and increased utilities by $84. That's on the general fund and the fire fund. I increased uh, compensation of board and commission members, which is our volunteers, since we're not paying them monthly instead of quarterly. Anyway, um, so that was by $1,490 and I increased Ohio Police and Fire by $1,867. In EMS billing uh, salaries, I increased that by $300. Period. Is there a motion to pass resolution 2.11? I so move. There's a, move. there's a motion and there's a second. Any further discussion regarding that motion? Uh, hearing none, may we uh, vote, please? Mr. Crockett? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Mr. Mutcher? Yes. Okay. So, now then, the next resolution is to adopt our permanent appropriations and um, I have not, I did not hear any contributions from Don or, um, well, Colin said he was fine with the way things are. So what we, what we, what was presented uh, a month ago, uh, those appropriations are what we're 
adopting. So there's a resolution that, is that goes with that. If okay. you want to read it. Please. Okay. It's 2020-12. 20, 20 be it resolved by the Board of Trustees of Miami Township, Greene County, Ohio, that to provide for the current expenses and other expenditures of said Board of Trustees during the fiscal year ending December 31st, 2020, the following sums be and the same are hereby set aside permanently and appropriated for these several purposes for which expenditures are to be made for and during said fiscal year. Now, therefore, the Miami Township Trustees approve these permanent appropriations and direct the fiscal officer to submit these sums to the county auditor. Is there a motion to approve Resolution 2020-12? I would make that motion. There's I'll a motion. second. And there's a second. Any further discussion regarding that resolution? Hearing none, may we vote, please. Mr. Butcher? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Mr. Crockett? Yes. Okay. Well, I'm happy to report that I finally got that all my all the requirements to close out the year 2019 and report to the county, the state auditor, and everybody under the sun has been completed. <laughs> and um, we're moving forward now Great. with freshness. I feel pressured already. Mm -hmm. I feel really good for sure. Um, I don't have anything else I'll right now. Okay. Anything for Margaret? Mark? No. Okay. Thank you, Margaret. Mm -hmm. um, inspector's off. Uh, one permit for an accessory structure out on Kyle Road since I last saw you. Um, not, not a biggie. The Zoning Commission met and started work on um, revising the plan unit development chapter. Their first efforts were at rewriting the intention statement at the beginning of the chapter so that they could know what it is that they're writing rules for, mm -hmm. which makes a lot of sense. And um, Brian made a proposal for that based on the wording in the comprehensive plan about what our intention is for, for building in the, in the township. And so that's what the, the commission members are ruminating on now to, to go, go ahead for the next meeting. That was the primary activity there. For the first time in a long time, the Greene County Zoning Inspectors and Zoning Administrators met in, at Regional Planning. And um, Regional Planning's item was the interesting fact that they have been reviewing any subdivisions of land less than 10 acres for a long time, but the Ohio Revised Code says that they can only review up to five acres. And, and so Devin said, well, I'm going to change that unless somebody can tell me why we've been doing 10 acres. And we had some ideas, but nobody had a, you know, a, a, a definite answer to that. Um, and it was good to have a room full of, of, of uh, zoning folks together again, and we chatted about a whole bunch of things that just people have been running up against, but we didn't solve the world's problems. But I think we'll be back into gear. I think we decided on meeting bi-monthly. Mm -hmm. It was going to be bi-monthly or quarterly. I'm not, not sure what, what was resolved on that. Um, Anyway, so it's that, I'm, I'm happy to see that, that process taking place again. Oh, but I don't, I, I don't remember that we came up with any particular information. Like there was quite a bit of discussion about still the good old, how do you deal with, with drunk, trash, hoarders, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Everybody had their stories, but nobody had any answers. I like to tell those stories. Um, Let's see, one, two, three. Um, I, I believe, Chris, you had brought it up. What, was hap what is happening with the former Camp Green property now that it's owned by the Glen Helen Association? And I had a conversation with, with Nick Budis, who said that we are using the facilities in a similar manner to the, the Girl Scout camp, but we're not have any plans to build anything new or, or, or any change in use from the, 
than what would be comparable to the Girl Scout stand by. So, well, if that's exactly the case, then I don't, we, we never had something in our code that said <laughs> Girl Scout camps or whatever. So uh, that would be grandfathered in, in my, my opinion. Um, but for example, they're going to have the Glen Helen Association annual meeting out there. Uh, and so they are using the, the larger facility to have, have those kinds of gatherings. In the same vein, um, I, I finished all my reviewing and talking with the prosecutor's office on the composting, proposed composting operation of the Agraria, and essentially said that if you want to do it as an agricultural use, it has to be secondary to anything that you're doing on the farm. In other words, if you're making compost, most of the compost has to be used on the farm. It can't be a business of selling compost. If you're acquiring materials to make compost, that has to be less than the amount of materials you're getting from the farm to make compost. Mm -hmm. um, there's, there's legal background for that, and, and, the Ohio, and my reading of the, of the definition of agriculture Although farmers obviously bring in all kinds of materials to fertilize their land, yeah. okay, from what we consider just buying fertilizer <laughs> to getting things like biosolids from, from waste treatments plants, but that's not to manufacture fertilizer on their property, that's to use it for their crops. Now, if you're bringing in something that's not quite ready to put on the crops and process it a little bit, that still seems to make sense to me. But if you're doing that in order to then sell it again, oh, well now you're a fertilizer manufacturer mm -hmm. and that's, that doesn't seem to fit into the, the code definition. So we'll see what happens on that one. And those are the, the hot topics for the last month. Have you passed that along to uh, yeah. people? Have you? Okay. Yeah. No, I wrote a, a, not a long, but a full letter saying here's, here's my thinking on the matter. And I still said, you know, if you want to do what you originally told me, and I've had different people tell me different things about what's happening, you still can. You just need to be an ag to get the zoning for an agricultural service establishment. We we do allow those. But if you're trying to avoid getting a, a permit, then you've got to stick within the agricultural boundaries. Okay. Well, um, so would that be a, a zoning variance? No. No, it's a, just a conditional use here. Conditional use. It's a conditional use. You call it an agricultural service permit? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, this reminds me of two other things, actually. Um, I've been going back and forth with an engineering firm, very sporadically, who is designing um, a re... basically a reconstruction of the, of the Clifton water treatment plant, their, their sewage mm -hmm. treatment plant. Yeah. It's getting old, it needs to be essentially replaced. It will have, when it's replaced, it'll have a little bit more capacity, but not significantly. It's still on the same piece of property. But um, when we revised the agricultural district, we took out the, those kind of public works mm. items. And so I looked at this and said, what I'd like you to do is go through the BCA and just tell them what it is you're doing and if they can give, I'm hoping, their stamp of approval. Mm -hmm. um, but our code certainly says you don't, ex you can continue any, any use, but you can't expand it. And they are doing, you know, as I say, the facilities are tearing down almost everything and, and rebuilding everything and it's all a little bit bigger and better. Mm -hmm. So that one's happening, um, or about to happen. Uh, it'll actually be Green County Sanitary Waste Department that will be doing the, the application, not the engineering firm. Um, you said to get it, can they have to do it? Go, it's conditional. It, no, they would be getting a variance. A variance, right. Um, on that one, no, but let's see, it just went out of my mind. Oh, the other thing that, you know, as was reported in the Yellow Springs News, Agraria got a, a $500,000 grant from Clean Ohio to build a bicycle path. They have to raise certain matching funds. 
Um, I got a call from a property owner saying they were coming on his property and cutting down trees <laughs> to build their bicycle path. And I said, oh, well, I don't think that they should be doing that. Um, anyway, talked at length. This is, this is the owner of the, of the property that has the access from Dayton Yellow Springs Road. Mm -hmm. okay. And the Agraria also has the right to use that access from Dayton Yellow Springs Road to get to their property. But it doesn't mean that they can go across his property. Mm -hmm. Well, at least looking at it, what, what he was telling me, I said, you know, I, you know, I would have to, you know, I'm not your lawyer, <laughs> I'm just the, the zoning inspector, but look very carefully at all the language, or have a, an attorney look at it, so that you're, you're, you're clear about, about what can or can't happen. Uh, you know, my gut feeling is that if you have an access easement, that doesn't give you a lacrosse is property easement. Um, in the same way, there may also be a stumbling block because, as we all know, the, the school system has been looking at the high school property as real estate right. as opposed to the high school campus. Mm -hmm. And the location for that, that bicycle path would end up biting. I mean, the bicycle path itself may be not be that much acreage, but it has to be inside of where there's a, a, a drainage area. So suddenly you're losing quite a big big chunk of, of land in terms of if it were going to be developed in some way in the future. So, and I saw Terry Holden at, at uh, a breakfast meeting last week and, and she said, yes, that's just come up to the, the top of my list. So there, there are um, some interesting bumps in that, that road or that bicycle path. Especially if they decide to move the whole K to twelve onto the Antioch. There, yeah. well, so the, the we we could, that's kind of getting outside of the let's township. Not, let's, not, yeah. let's not go there. The, uh, why couldn't the bike path go uh, be on a strip adjacent to the very southern edge of the high school land? Because because the very southern edge is a drainage swale. And then, so you're saying you'd have to go far enough north of that that it wouldn't be part of the swale. That's, that's my take on the... Well, because when I walked along there, it seemed like it was a steep ditch. Well, it is a steep ditch. But the, the, if, you, if you have, let's just say from, from a zoning standpoint, you have a rear yard setback. Mm -hmm. Let's say you have to have 40 feet, okay? Well, that... That drainage ditch could be part of that 40 feet, and maybe you'd be happy to have, you know, an interesting place for the kids to play in the backyard. But if you put an easement through there, you've you've taken away the, the use of the backyard. You're not going to nobody's going to want to have a house with a bicycle path running through the backyard. So suddenly you can't use the drainage ditch for the backyard or the bicycle path for the backyard. And. You could maybe, you know, somehow if you if somebody were far enough along and making a development out there, they could, they'd have to be putting in streets and you could have a street that became part of the bicycle path somehow. But that wouldn't be as far south as possible. That would be, you know, that would be up more where the former high school was. So I, I don't know, I can't speak for the high school, but that's, a, that's an issue at this point about whether they can grant that, that easement or not. I understood it wasn't going to be an easement, it was going to be a sale of land. I, I, I don't know that one either. I mean, I'm, I'm not trying to speak for the school board, I just asked if that was, you know, was what, what was happening with that, and, and, and the superintendent said that she was reviewing. So it's, it's obviously not a, a done deal. Okay, thank you, Richard. You're Anything welcome. else for him? Yeah. Well, it just makes sense that such a big project would have lots of complications. <laughs> Any new business this evening? Uh, maybe this is old business, but I'd like to follow up on the Little Miami Conservancy okay. request for a, a Clean Ohio Fund resolution of support. Looking at their letter, 
uh, their application has to be in by April 17. Uh, I would take it upon myself to email Eric Parti and ask him for a sure. uh, model resolution, and then we bring it up at the next meeting. Yeah. No problem. Like I say, I think Don't we did forget. the same thing last time. Well, or yeah. or we'll dig up our. It might be easier for him to send this one. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. okay. yeah, they showed a map of the property. I don't mm -hmm. know where that is. It's on Clifton Road somewhere. It says it's Clifton Road that abuts right to the um, Little Miami. Whoever those people are that are agreeing to it. Well, whatever. I'll, yeah. So I'll bring that up at the next meeting. All right. Any further new business? The old business. One update on our never-ending and hopefully will end sometime um, uh, project to get an amendment put onto some bill at the Ohio State at the state level in order to have our uh, 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 delinquent, somewhat delinquent tax on the uh, firehouse property made to go away. Um, the amendment was all set to be put on the bill, uh, which would have run through the House and the Senate this term, and for some reason, somebody in their infinite wisdom decided to put ten more amendments along with it, <laughs> and the, uh, the uh, head of the Ways and Means Committee decided that's just way too many amendments, and they didn't want to have to take the time to vet them all for whatever reasons that they were there, so she just said, all coming off, so no all amendments on yeah, all of them. So all no them. amendments on this bill. So now uh, Senator Hackett is pursuing another bill to uh, uh, attach it to. But he assures me with his we're most. We're so close. Yeah, we're so. He assures me with his most most uh, fervent assurance that this will happen. Sometime. Sometime. <laughs> It'll happen as soon, if out of the same time schedule as purchasing the property. Yeah, well, uh, frankly, I, I'm, I'm not that worried because we're not on the hook for anything as long as this eventually goes through. So right. if it takes a little while, it happens. Yeah, you know, as long as it happens. As long as it happens. Yeah. Not, they're not going to put the property up for auction because you haven't paid your tax. No. Uh, I actually do have another item. Okay. Uh, at the Yellow Springs Development Corporation meeting, uh, there was discussion of the Development Corporation uh, sponsoring a page in, uh, what was the magazine? <laughs> something, something Ohio's Development, Ohio Development Opportunity Magazine, it's a once a year, I think. Kind of goes out to and the all the big some of the the Yellow Springs page just saying feel good things about the Yellow Springs and they asked each of the participants in the development corporation to uh, pay for two hundred dollars of it and I said I couldn't commit to that unless we voted on it uh, I should have brought a sample and uh, more information, but I haven't. Can't wait to, can you bring it to the next meeting? Depends on what you guys feel like. From what information I got from that, it, it seems as though, it seems as though it would be premature. That was for us to participate at all. Yeah. For the for the CDC to participate at all, not necessarily for Miami Township. I, I just don't think they're they're up and running on you know doing a lot of projects. I mean they're trying to get you know they're trying to get this project started, but this project being the fire fire yeah. Um, well, we have a meeting tomorrow, and I'll bring it up. I'll I'll say that we needed clarity. I mean I will, and I don't know about Mark, but I'm I'm sure he'll agree. I will leave it. You know, I'll leave it up to you. If you want it, if you think it's worthwhile, then I'll su I'll support you on it. If you think that mm -hmm. it would generate what they think the YSDC wants generated, fine. 
I'm just not sure. I mean, this is an Ohio magazine. It, are the people in Youngstown going to come pouring into Yellow Springs to start a business? Yeah, buy up some CBD land. Not CBD. Mm -hmm. C oh, I got too many acronyms. <laughs> <laughs> they might have. I just don't do well with acronyms. Uh, just anyway. tag it up like crazy. Just X Y Z fun exercise. But, but Mark, if you agree, again, I will leave it to your discretion as the representative, and you know, you Corey can. Chew it over. Yeah, well, I, I definitely agree. Okay. Well, do we need a resolution, or does this nope. come under a, one of our budget lines? Yeah, it's just, just okay. Just do it if you, if you want to. Well, yeah, yeah. You I'll, I'll, I'll ask more questions tomorrow. If you you recommend to the board that you want to pay the two hundred bucks, mm -hmm. then they'll then they move the second and get a resolution for that. Okay. I'll get more information tomorrow. Okay. And Any, I'll decide tomorrow. Right. Anything else? Um, oh, go ahead. I just need a pen. <laughs> All right, well, you can take care of that. Other than the pen, is there anything else? Yeah. Hearing none, may we, may we adjourn? Yes, we may. Yes, we can. Mm -hmm. These are correspondence. You want to go over those again? <laughs> nope. Okay.